So I gather you've been made redundant five months ago. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't want to worry and never you lose. And never you lose a baby again. That was eight years ago, Rick. I know, I just, I just didn't want to risk anything going wrong again. So when did it happen? Before or after we decided to get the dormer done? After. What were you thinking? Did you think money was just going to float down from heaven? I thought I'd get another job and... And then what? When it didn't come? How long were you going to leave it before you told me? I don't know. I didn't think. There's, there's just no jobs out there. Of course there's jobs. Have you tried looking at papers? Every day. And then apart from looking at the papers, what else have you been doing? Going to the job centre. Going to interviews. Going to the bank to talk about his mortgage. Trying to get a loan to, to sort all this out. I, I promise you, I'm not stopped, not for one minute. We've got builders in this house doing the loft conversion who we owe thousands of pounds to. He's given me the bill and he said he left you one three weeks ago, Rick. Yes, I know. And you've been letting me doing the nur you've been letting me do up the nursery when we've got no money. And I've been looking at our bank statements with three thousand eight hundred pounds overdrawn. But we needed the nursery. The gas bill hasn't been paid, or the council tax. And the loan people have taken the car back. Look, I know. Well, I'll tell you something you don't bloody know. We're expecting twins.